Hello everyone and welcome back to Meeple Leaf Reviews. I'm Jeffrey. And I am Jacob. And today we're doing a review of an adventure card game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Warhammer Quest. Not to be confused with Warhammer Quest Silver Tower. Yes. Which recently <laughs> yeah, came out. Very true, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's, uh, let's jump right in with uh, Art and Components. Yeah. Uh, art and components, I think, are fantastic for this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, looks very cool. Lots yeah. of little uh, details and everything. It's I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, the artwork is really awesome. Like on the cards, it's very gritty with yeah. all the different yeah, very monsters dark. and stuff like that. Yeah, really cool. I love the artwork. The components are, are excellent as well. The dice, the fact that they just aren't like six-sided dice, they have symbols on them Yeah, uh, is nice. I would say the the card stock. I, I've seen a little bit of warping in the cards. Okay. Uh, so I I don't really see that in a lot of cards uh, here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Um, so I don't know if it's a humidity thing. Uh, I know with like other reviews, people saying they see warped cards cards all the time. I never see it here. Right. I've seen it in these cards uh, just mildly. Maybe they want you to buy the sleeves. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So that could could be a concern. Right. Uh, it's not, like, I don't look at them and I'm just like, oh, man, these are really warped. It's just a little curvature. Right. Uh, worth, s- worth noting. So then going on to rules and teaching. Okay. Uh, I learned from the rule book and then I taught, I taught you mm-hmm. and I taught my taught my wife how to play. Yeah. Uh, I didn't find it was very hard to, to teach either. You can do the tutorial, which is just like a quick... Here's the mechanics. Okay. But other than that, I don't think it's too hard, but there are a few, like, keywords. Mm-hmm. Like, you kept looking at the damage value on the guys and saying, oh, I'm going to take two damage. I'm like, no, he doesn't have the inflict ability. Right. So there are some keywords to learn in the game for sure. Yeah. Uh, there's the inflict, and then there's also, uh, I found it hard with advancing. Right. At the end of the round, guys are advancing towards you. Uh, but he's not attacking you. Yeah. And then when you're doing an action and you roll claws, they are attacking you. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe there's a guy in front of you and he's going to activate, but he doesn't have that inflict. He has the challenge ability, which means he might be going over to someone else. And he's not attacking them either. Or is he attacking them? I don't know. No, he's not attacking them. <laughs> he's just moving over to them and right. engaging them. Right. So, the yeah, the keywords I found a little difficult, even in this fifth game. And I've been playing this uh, quite regularly for, well, all today we played like four, three four or quests. four, four yeah. quests. Um, and I was still, it wasn't super hard, but I was still just like, oh, this guy doesn't attack me, right? Right. Or does he? And I was never 100% sure. Uh, so I'll because you brought that up, I will quickly jump into some of the gameplay and mechanisms section for this. Sure. And why that, I think that kind of fits kind of with the theme a a little bit and why that mechanic works okay is not everyone's going to be attacking you when the enemy is attacked but just having those people in front of you means that they have an opportunity to attack while you're trying to do something else yeah so even if they aren't inflicting damage they have the potential and when they're constantly switching to different people then it puts the pressure on those other people, maybe they go to the people with the least amount of health left. So yeah. then it's going to be harder for them to, to do actions or more yeah. dangerous and stuff like that. So it it is a little tricky with the keywords and it's, you know, just uh, something you got to get learn and get get through. Yeah. And, and it wasn't hard. I was just never 100% sure. And I constantly had to go, this is how it works, right? Yeah. So keep that in mind. Uh, so... On to the theme okay. of this, you're this band of adventurers trying to help out this town of Skonk. The worst... I would not help that town. The worst town <laughs> in the world. Yeah. Uh, I, I, well, first of all, I think the theme is here. I feel like I'm I'm going through a dungeon and like I don't get a moment to, to myself. There's always monsters coming at me and stuff sure. like that. The, and this, like you said, this town is scomp. Like, I would not have, like, something goes wrong. Oh, let's just burn a few witches. <laughs> and it's like, oh, well, that didn't work. Let's <laughs> catapult all these people. Yeah, out of catapult the town. all the foreigners out of the town. And it's like, oh, the orcs are still coming. Oh, let's just hang, yeah. our, hang our guards people from the walls. So. 
<laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty brutal uh, thematically wise. Yeah. I didn't find it. Uh, it didn't come across to me as like, oh, that's disgusting. That's gross. It was almost more comical. Yeah, like it's at, so like, it's, how brutal this town is. Yeah, it's so outrageous. It was yeah. funny. Yeah, uh, and the the other thing I will say is that I found the most thematic is kind of what I talked about is when you try to take your actions the amount of danger present when trying to take those actions is based on how many enemies you're trying to fight off. Right. If you're trying to like rest and you have three guys in front of you, well, that's not going to be very effective. You're probably going to take more damage than you're going to heal, right. which is is very thematic. It's like, oh, hold on, guys. I'm just going <laughs> to like... I need a break. I need a break. I need to take a, a bit of water here or, or down a potion. And right. they're just like, all right. <laughs> yeah. So I found that that, I think, is the most thematic thing and it integrates very well with the mechanisms. Yeah, it this did kind of feel like a dungeon crawl, kind of felt like an RPG where you're adventuring. Uh, you're not constantly being bombarded with gear and equipment right. and you're just like, oh, I found this flaming axe and, yeah. you know, I found this and that and that and you're just powering up. It's like a slow, very slow crawl when you're gaining power. Even when you level up and you get your advanced cards, you're switching from your basic to advances. It's like you get one additional die. Yeah, it's not, and, and that's it. That that's I think something that was uh, so kind of going going on to, into the gameplay is they they made the power level of those gear cards and those actions just a step above. Yeah. Because I think they they left it open for expansions. Oh, yeah. Where you can, like, there's going to be tier system. Like, it's not like, oh, you go from, like, this little piddly wizard to, oh, I'm the greatest mage in the world. Yeah. You could have a very long campaign and progress and get slightly better and slightly better and slightly better uh, gear. I think, for me, this is kind of just an intro into the system. Sure. For Warhammer Quest, and I, I hope they come up with a lot more mm -hmm. for it, because I think they could build a lot upon what they've done. Yeah, the one thing that I kind of noticed throughout this campaign was it was very combat heavy. Yeah. Uh, everything is just combat all day long. The whole game, just combat, combat, combat. Uh, I kind of wish that there was something more RPG-ish where, okay, now we've encountered encountered traps and we need to right. make it through this room. It was, no, there's just more monsters. And, and that could be an easy expansion to add yeah. and give, them, give all the adventures an, another action card. Yeah. So like a, a persuade, awesome. a persuade or a disarm action card, something, yeah. something like that. So th like there's so much, so much room to do stuff. With this game. That's definitely the one thing I notice as well is just how tight this game is and how open it is at the same time with they can expand this to the nth degree. Yeah. Like it's, man, there's, it's, there's it's a, cool in there's that a lot way. Here. Yeah. Uh, some positive that I wanted to say about the game is the AI system for the, the enemies. Mm -hmm. Although it can be confusing sometimes with all the keywords, I think it works very well. Right. The game like the the game plays itself against you because it's a cooperative game. Yeah. You don't have to have someone be the game master and play it. The game is doing it very very seamlessly for you. Right. Uh, another cool thing that I really like about the game is everyone has uh, very similar or the same four cards for their abilities except they're tweaked they have different combinations because every card has like two or three different things that it's doing and each of the different characters in the box have different combinations of those things right so i might be uh for my combat is i'm engaging someone and i'm rolling x dice and you might get a bonus out of my combat right uh, whereas another character might be doing a combat and tapping down some characters and, and so that they can't enemies so that they can't attack or, you know, all yeah. these different things. It's all the same stuff from card to card, but in just different combinations. So every character feels slightly different. In yeah. I, I would say that the, the characters feel very, they feel asymmetrical. Yeah. Like I feel I, Oh, this is what I can do really well. This is what you can do really well. Yeah. Everyone has an aid action where it's like helping another person by giving them bonuses. You have a rest action which refreshes you and heals a attack action. And then you have an explore action. So everyone has those same four actions except 
they have different bonuses mm -hmm. added along with them that makes them feel very different from one another. Right. Uh, the other thing I want to touch on for this game was the difficulty level. Right. I've heard a lot of people say that this game is very challenging. Even the rule book says this game is going to be tough. Right. And it even says that it's going to be even more tough with two players. Right. So uh, I've played the campaign twice now. I played it with me and my wife, uh, just the two of us. We, we played through. And we only lost one quest right. in, in that, that campaign. Then I was like, okay, man, this game is easy. No, no big deal, whatever. Uh, so then I was like, okay, well, uh, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> getting, getting a little excited here, Jeffrey. Uh, Jacob, I'll, I'll play with you. So then I, I played with him. I got the chance to play another character. And we lost four of the five yep. um, quests. And yep. I'm like, wow, this game is really tough. <laughs> yeah, we, were, we got punished. And I think it was the, the combinations of the characters that right. we had. You showed me the characters that you had when you and Jenny played through, and they kind of synergized a little bit with one another. And the ranger is so good at crowd control. Yeah. Like, it was it was awesome. And then I felt like our two characters weren't synergizing. Right. Uh, like I was mentioning earlier, where you all have the same four cards, except you have different combinations. Our combinations didn't benefit one another, so we couldn't feed off of what each right. other were doing as easily. And I think that was why we had such a hard time with it. Yeah. They were, they were generally, most of those missions were very close. Like we lost at the at the end of the wire there. Like we were close to winning, but if we had maybe one more turn, right. maybe two, that last one we got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't but, have a chance. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it wasn't like it was, oh man, this is completely unbeatable. It was just like, oh, you know, if we had one or two more turns, we could have done it. Uh, and then the... Uh, yeah. All right. So are you uh, ready to go on to final, final rating? Final thoughts? Um, yeah. Let's do it. All right. So for me, this game right now is a 8 out of 10. Okay. Uh, I can see it going higher if they support support this game. Mm -hmm. I really like the system. The only problem is like I played it twice. There isn't really much for me to come back to. They do have those accelerated dungeon quest where you level up all within one one play session right. but i want i want something i want more i want more gear i want more actions i want more campaigns i want i just want more yeah so i could see if they come out with more support for this game this game could go could go higher right because i i don't have any other game like this in my collection so it, it can really fit a niche in my collection for me so for me it's a eight out of ten right uh, for me, I'm going to go with a 6 out of 10, uh, with a, it, it being very close to a 7. And the reason is I find it very samey as it currently is right now. Every campaign is we're just hordes of monsters are pouring right. in and we're just fighting them off. You have, you know, four actions and that's it. Even the advanced actions, they're just slight tweaks, one extra die, one automatic success. Right. So... I have three things that I can do um, because the, the fourth one is just a rest action to refresh the other three. So I'm just doing those same three or maybe even two of them that I'm doing over and over and over and over. And because of that repetition and there's not a lot there, um, I can't give it any any higher right. than, than a six right now. As soon as they start adding expansions, adding more content, uh, more cards, so I have separate actions that I can take. I think this could skyrocket. They add traps, yeah. uh, all sorts of different things like that. I could see this easily rising up to potentially even a nine. Right. Yeah. I'm and my my eight. This is with the hope of more stuff coming. This is this is my uh, not necessarily the game in the box, but the system right. that they've that they've yeah. generated. If they don't come out with anything else for this, then it's going to drop. Right. Yeah. Uh, drop for this game. So. That, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Cool. All right. Well, if that sounded interesting to you, check out Warhammer Quest. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps us out a lot. Yeah. Follow us on Twitter at Meeple Leaf and go to the description down below. Go to our board game links and give us some sweethearts so that more people can find us and just bask yep. in the glory that is <laughs> Meeple, Meeple Leaf for Reviews. <laughs> 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 all right hopefully that didn't scare you off and uh, we will see you next time all right take care